Hey everyone, I'm Robert Pedrudi. The purpose of this video is to show you how to update a Quantopian algorithm that uses the Fetcher API to use self-serve data, a new, easy-to-use tool for uploading data to Quantopian. Self-serve data provides you the ability to upload your own time series data to Quantopian and access it in research and the IDE directly via pipeline. You can add historical data as well as live update data on a nightly basis. Unlike those that use a Fetcher API, algorithms that use data uploaded via self-serve data can participate in the daily Quantopian contest and by extension the allocation process. Check out this video linked below for an introduction to self-serve data. In this video, we'll walk through an example of updating a Fetcher algorithm to use self-serve data from the Quantopian community forums. Before we get started, let's do a quick recap of some of the benefits we'll get from updating a Fetcher algorithm to use self-serve data. With self-serve data, your data is seamlessly integrated into pipeline in a point-in-time manner, preventing look-ahead bias. The data you upload with self-serve data can be used alongside the pricing, fundamentals, and alternative data that are already available for you in pipeline. Lastly, your strategies made with uploaded data are eligible for the daily Quantopian contest and the allocation process. The notebook titled Self-Serve Data, How Does It Work in the attached forum post walks through how self-serve data aligns your data for the compatibility with the rest of the platform. Now, let's go through our example of adjusting an algorithm that uses Fetcher to use self-serve data to upload the same data set. This example is inspired by our particular forum post linked in the comments below. We'll start by cloning an algorithm written by community member Brad Sun, which is built upon a data set from a CERN. The strategy uses the DS2 score for each stock in the CERN data set as an alpha value. Five minutes after market opens every day, it enters positions according to the DS2 score. More specifically, the algorithm defines a maximized alpha objective using the DS2 scores as weights and constrains the portfolio to a max gross leverage of one position size between negative 0.2 and 2, and a dollar neutral constraint. If objectives and constraints are new to you, you can learn more about them by reading through the Getting Started tutorial or the help documentation linked below. Right now, the algorithm reads these CERN datasets via the Fetcher API. By uploading the dataset via self-serve data, we will enable ourselves to load the DS2 data in pipeline and seamlessly align the symbols in the dataset with any other data we can use in our strategy. Now, I'll upload the CERN data from my computer with self-serve data, naming each column type. For a walkthrough of the upload process, check out the attached notebook below. In the third tab, we are asked if we want to set up a nightly update process for our data set. If you want to update a data set, you will need to host a file somewhere like Dropbox or Google Sheets and keep it up to date. Files are checked for new data on a nightly basis. Since we're only using a historical upload of our data, we can select no live data. After the CERN data set has been uploaded successfully, we can load it into our algorithm with an import statement. Note that it can sometimes take a few minutes for a data set to finish uploading. So if the import statement doesn't work right away, try again in a few minutes. Now, let's adjust the algorithm to make full use of the uploaded data set with a proper pipeline. If you aren't familiar with Pipeline, check out the Getting Started tutorial or the Pipeline tutorial in the links below. We'll start by importing Pipeline into our algorithm, along with the Pipeline filter QTradable Stocks US, the newest iteration of the Quantopian Tradable Universe, a collection of stocks that fit our defined constraints every day. When we include this as part of our Pipeline screen, only these stocks will be included in our Pipeline output. Next, let's simplify our initialize function by omitting the call to fetch CSV and the function defined to record end of day variables. In its place, we can attach our pipeline and pass in the result of the make pipeline function, which we will soon define. Similarly, let's simplify the before trading start function to store the results of our daily pipeline in the strategy's context variable, which we can use to access the pipeline's results and other functions of our algorithm. Now, let's create the make pipeline function, in which we'll construct a pipeline using our uploaded DS2 scores as the pipeline column. We'll screen our pipeline with the QTradable Stocks US filter and a check to exclude all NAN DS2 score values. Finally, 
Let's update the ordering function, morning execution, to use the DS2 values from pipeline as alpha values in the objective maximize alpha. Before we go about placing trades though, we'll constrain our orders according to three constraints, max gross exposure, dollar neutrality, and position concentration. Finally, we'll use the order optimal portfolio function to calculate an optimal portfolio to meet the objective subject to the three constraints. Let's do a quick build of our algorithm over about eight months and check out our results. I should add that if you have any questions about the core functionality we just went over, such as the initialize or before trading start functions, or even setting up pipeline and its factors, check out the Understanding the Algorithm API video linked below. Let's recap what we did. We started by downloading the CSV file that was previously read in by Fetcher. We uploaded that file and created a self-serve dataset. And then we updated the algorithm code to use pipeline. We hope you found this to be a helpful walkthrough on moving from Fetcher to self-serve data. Learn more by clicking on the references below and feel free to send us any questions to dataupload at quantopian.com. Thanks for watching.